morning, good morning YouTube. So before I start this video, I just want you to know that you are greatly, greatly loved and that you are wonderfully and beautifully created and that you are capable of more than you could ever imagine. amazing amazing girl who told me she was watching my vlog and almost brought tears to my eyes because she's so happy about it so I want you guys to meet all the girls and then you can meet Kate Katie Katie Alright guys, so I was headed to the train and you know God works in awesome ways because he gives you opportunity to help out everywhere you go so you guys could tell people about God and about the love that you have for humanity and for everyone else. So I saw all these bags. Look at this. Absolutely insane. And I'm going to be honest, they each probably weigh like 200 pounds. Maybe 300 pounds. Okay, maybe like 40 pounds. And then I saw these two girls carrying them. What's your names? Sarah. Sarah. I'm and Haley, and they both work for Macy's. <laughs> yes, and so they were carrying these bags all throughout New York City, and then they needed help, and so I was able to help Thank them. You so <laughs> You're welcome. You're so so nice you. I just want to encourage everyone out there if you guys see people in need, or if you guys could help someone or show love some way, do it. Because <laughs> look, it just made them so happy, right? And so show God's love, everyone. And so I didn't even talk to you guys about this, but you guys know of Jesus Christ or do you guys oh, know Christian. you're Christian yes. Woo! praise God look at that she's Christian Haley what about you oh, no. okay she so she's so Haley what's your beliefs you're what Catholic Catholic oh, yeah. okay yeah so you believe in God too yes. okay so I do not need to witness to them because they already <laughs> believe in Jesus Christ and that's not the only reason I was doing this we need to show love to everyone okay but then it does give you an opportunity to talk about Jesus Christ and to talk about you know why you're loving on people why you have the motivation to help people okay so just spread God's love everywhere and if you get the chance talk about God to people all right so it was so great meeting Sarah and hey I will sing praises to you among the nations for your steadfast love is great to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be over all the earth. So I just want to read that to you guys because that is how we should live out every day. And so I don't want you guys to think I'm doing these good deeds uh, for show or just to put on my YouTube channel. But I'm doing these because I truly believe that when we read scripture, this is what God asks of us. And you know, nothing inside of us wants to do these things. I didn't want to take 20 minutes out of my day to haul those suitcases over, but that's what God asks of us. As we read that verse in Psalms, Psalms 57, 7 through 11, it says, I will sing praises to you among the nations, for your steadfast love is great to the heavens, your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens. Let your glory be all over the earth. And so how can God's glory be all over the earth? Well, by Christians, by people that's dedicated their life to Christ, to spread his love unto everyone they see, everyone they meet, everywhere. So that's our job. We have to be the hands and feet of Christ. We have to make sacrifices daily to make sure people see his love, that we need to go all over the earth being God's hands and feet, showing love to everyone. Okay, so I just wanted to give that little bit of encouragement, that verse from Psalms 57, to encourage you guys to spread love all over the earth and to everyone you meet. And so right now I am at Penn Station, and so I just got back from the hospital. Two lectures today, they were very short, but I am exhausted. So I was at the hospital last night till 1.30 in the morning. I was on call, so we were super busy. I'm, I was on call in the ED. I um, had an amazing time, got to see tons of patients, but I didn't get home till 2 in the morning. Didn't get to bed till 2.30, so I didn't get much sleep. I then woke up this morning at uh, about 6 o'clock, and I had to catch a train at 6.38. So I'm running on fumes right now, I'm very tired. But something that is crazy exciting is that I get to meet one of my subscribers today. He is someone that has been supporting me all throughout um, my rotation so far. He's always commenting, always praying for me. But yeah, I don't really know his name, but 
Well, okay, I do know his name, but I don't know how to pronounce his name, so I'm not gonna tell you guys that, but you will get to meet him shortly. So we just have to find how to get to 7th Avenue, which I just found out. So he's waiting for me at 7th Avenue, and then we are gonna go grab some brunch. So you guys stick around, uh, get to meet one of my subscribers, and then hopefully, if you guys are ever in the area, I would love to take you guys for lunch, to brunch, whatever, just have good fellowship, good prayer, just get to know each other. All right, so let's get going, and let's go find out where 7th Avenue's at. So as of right now, I do not see him out here. If he stood me up, I'm gonna be so mad. Just kidding, he should definitely be here. So let's just kind of look around, see if we can't find him. Okay, so I see a McDonald's, a Capital One, a Madison Square Garden, Hotel Pennsylvania. Yeah. happened that he was inside Penn Station looking for me and I was outside Penn Station looking for him so we've been walking around for about 15-20 minutes but now we should finally be able to find each other because I believe he's right inside Penn Station all right so I asked for his exact location and he sent me a picture of this Bank of America I think I know where it's at so now we should be able to find him Whew. My watch, oh yeah, so you guys don't know this, but Phoebe, my beautiful wife, bought me a watch. Check it out. So it's the Garmin 630, which I absolutely love so far. I haven't honestly got to use it too much just because we've been super busy, but it could do like everything. But I absolutely love the watch. That was way, way, way too kind of her. All right, and so now we're finally meeting. Woo! <laughs> How you doing? Yeah. Good to finally meet you. Yeah. How you finally. been? Sorry about the distraction, walking around everywhere, but yeah. finally. I was okay. like upstairs and then I came down to search for Bank of America. Right, I know, I'm so sorry because, okay, so like I was looking around all over outside, uh -huh. like walking all over, Penn St like around Penn Station, uh -huh. and you were walking around inside Penn Station. Yeah, I, so. I thought you were inside. Awesome, well, so do you want to introduce yourself to everyone? Yeah, sure. So, uh, my name is John Vitor, I'm Brazilian, but living in Italy, I'm a medical student too. And I met uh, Tommy's, Tommy's channel, and it's really, really nice that now we can meet. And I don't know what to say. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Guys, this is what it's all about. You know, encouraging people all across the world, getting to know each other, making connection. You know, this is another medical student has, that's been encouraging me all throughout my journey, always praying for me, always giving me words of encouragement. And so things like this is what like helps us to push each other to be the best we can in all areas of our life. So this man here, a good, godly Christian man, pursuing his dreams to become a doctor. We're finally getting to meet up. So thank you for all of your thank love, you. all of your support. And just, it's been, I just wanna encourage you guys, um, you know, get out there, meet people, make connections. And you know, even if it's over social media, you can make amazing friends and uh, connections that way. So we're gonna go grab some brunch now you guys have an incredible, incredible day. Finally found a place to have lunch and we got us some sandwiches. Um, they look absolutely delicious. What did you think of the size of it? Yeah, it's really... <laughs> you should have saw his face when he saw how big his wrap was. It was hilarious. Okay, so we're about. To All right, so this one is mine. And then look at that wrap. 
All right, so we're gonna eat this food, um, have a great lunch together, and then I get to check out what Vitor got Phoebe and I um, from Brazil. It was so nice of him, so kind of him. He definitely shouldn't have, but I'm super, super thankful just to get to enjoy his company and then also the presents he brought us. curious to what uh, attracted people to my channel. I asked Vitor uh, to kind of tell me how he came across my channel. So let's hear what he has to say. I think I was searching for some motivational and steady tips. And then I found Thomas' channel that's kind of a mix of those things. And more than that, it's a channel that inspires your server god. And it's really perfect. It's a really perfect channel because more than have good grades or more than be mo mo uh, have a motivational life, motivational, how do you say that? Motivational? Mo uh, life motivation. Life motivation, yeah. yeah. A life motivation that shows you the really true mo motivation we should have, that is Jesus Christ, that he died for us and that's all. I think it's the most thing that, that we should have with us and that's our motivate motivation. Guys, that you know that almost brings tears to my eyes because what, he, what the most important thing that he said was um, that it brings life motivation about um, getting closer to Jesus Christ, or coming to know Jesus Christ more, or having motivation for Jesus Christ. And you know, the only thing I want from my channel is to try to help as much as I can to try to spread as much love as I can and just inspire people to chase their dreams with endless love and relentless passion, and not for anything other than but to glorify God. So I'm so thankful that Vitor came and met with me. I'm so thankful that we had this opportunity to have fellowship, uh, to spend time together, and just to love on each other. So I just wanna encourage each of you guys out there, whatever connections you can make, whatever friendships you can make, make them. Pour life into everyone around you. Scripture says that um, God, that Jesus is a spring of living water, that he's a well that will not run dry. And if we have him, then we have access to that and we can pour it into everyone we meet. So I encourage you guys to please do the same. And if you're ever, ever, ever around New York, please let me know and I would love to spend time with you guys as well. So keep chasing your dreams with endless love and relentless passion.